Okay, so our last video got cut off, and instead of editing, I told you guys, now listen, if you know of a producer or an editor that needs a little extra cash, tell them, give me a call, and tell me what to send them, and, and I'll start shouting them out too, but okay, for now, so we started over, two bonus cards, Oceana was saying take action, and yes, definitely take action, you do know your truth in this situation, this is so much fun, okay, and then Grace and Antoinette. Okay, now listen. Somebody out there has a situation where you're feeling like you cannot forgive someone. That you feel that a grudge is necessary. And that is not for me to decide. So that's for you to decide. Okay, I'm just the angel card reader. And hopefully the person that gives you a message that helps you and you feel great and then someday you know it keeps going and you'll want me to come and speak to your group and there we go all right <sighs> here we go up next grace and antoinette says that if you need to heal a situation so if you are ready to let go of that grudge if you are tired of being angry because you know that the more you carry around anger and the more hateful you are about other people, that your life just becomes a big, terrible mess. Instead, if you'll just switch that a little bit, and this is what she says, Grace and Antoinette, to help heal this situation, situation, see the other person's point of view with compassion. Now, I could read this a lot deeper into it, but I think that says all it needs to. If you're feeling unforgiveness if you feel like you cannot forgive somebody for what they've done to you then try to see their point of view as well now I'm not saying like I said I'm not here to tell you that you should forgive that person because I don't know what kind of damage they did and sometimes not forgiving someone keeps you in a better place so whatever keeps you in a better place but if you are struggling and you do want to let go of and you are like i'm done i truly do not want to hate somebody any longer or i want them to have a good life so that i can go on and have a good life then look at the other side and of course i have to add this in especially since i got to start my time over so the last one yeah okay um don't forget the Ho'opono prayer. It is the most amazing prayer that I've ever seen. If you don't pray, then call it a chant. I don't care what you, whoa, oh, I don't care what you call it, but definitely um, use it. It is just putting yourself in the place of someone that you see dissatisfying and you need to forgive them. It could be somebody on the street. It could be a homeless person and you're needing to lift them up because it hurts you to see them homeless. It could be anybody. It could be your neighbor who you really don't even care for or whatever, but you just want to care for them or I don't care what it is. You know, it could be anybody. But that Ho'opono is a forgiveness prayer. It is Hawaiian. Uh, I learned about it through some several great authors. I think his name is Joe DeVito. Look him up. But this is all it is. It's for my part in your reality so i would say somebody's name at that point if it was the homeless lady or if it was the you know parent that gave up their kid or left their kid whatever um, for my part and i'll say that person homeless ladies reality i love you i'm so sorry you're going through this so i love you i'm sorry please forgive me and thank you and you're standing in for that person not because you're trying to help them, but because you're trying to uplift them. You're trying to uplift them in your brain, in your energy, in your forgiveness. And you're forgiving them for being dissatisfying. Because they may have a life that they love. It's your judgment that's bothering you. So forgive them. For, you know, use that Ho'opono prayer for anything in your life. It works all the time. Um... You're amazing, and if you don't mind, if you're still watching, I want to introduce my new bowl, and my daughter, Ashby Drake, she runs Ashby Yoga. She actually gave me her, and she's beautiful. Her energy is just
I barked at my bulls. You know, my bull and I, we want to wrap it up with the most important part. It's to remind you that you are beautiful just the way you are. You are loved and you have creation of your life right at your fingertips. Don't forget to take mindful moments. Don't forget you are protected. Listen to what the angels have to tell you. From Lola and myself, God bless. You are amazing. Thanks for watching.